G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another one of my EV Realist videos. In this series I seek to inject a little bit of sanity into the wild hysteria that surrounds the transition to EVs, uh, which is currently being spruiked by our various governments. So if you like this kind of content it would be great if you drop a like, uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell because it really does feed the algorithm. So in this video uh, we're going to look at a new story that popped up in my feed this morning about a new uh, technology for batteries that increased charging speeds dramatically uh, so I thought we'd look at that and I thought we'd then you know dig a little bit deeper to see uh, what the story is behind the story the headline reads this electric vehicle competitor blows Tesla supercharging out of the water that's quite a bold claim the long time for charging is a barrier for entry for most people trying to adopt the plug instead of the pump. According to Tesla, their home installed wall connector can provide its vehicles with up to 44 miles of range per hour of charge, while their so-called supercharger fast chargers can provide up to 200 miles in 15 minutes of charge. However, the wizards at the Volvo-backed EV rival Polestar have something even faster. At its Polestar Day event, the Swedish EV wizards announced that they have been in development of a new extreme fast charging battery that is capable of providing 100 miles of charge in just 5 minutes. Polestar has collaborated with StoreDot, a lithium-ion battery developer focused on speeding up EV charging that claims to have revolutionized the conventional lithium-ion battery by innovating and synthesizing proprietary organic and inorganic compounds sounds disconcertingly vague. More surprisingly, the firm said that it is on track to reduce the already fast charging rate down to just 100 miles in three minutes by 2028, and is aiming for a dizzying two minutes in 2032. Hmm, does this sound too good to be true? Well, let's see. Polestar said they have fitted a Polestar 5 prototype with these advanced batteries, and that the system is essentially production ready. I'm not going to read the rest of the article, it's all very uh, breathless and hyped up as you can tell. So I decided to do a bit of background research on this uh, store dot outfit to see what they were all about. And uh, there's some interesting uh, stuff here. They seem to have a litany uh, of very ambitious claims which have not been backed up by commercialised products. Um, the first paragraph of the Wikipedia article is quite... Um, Revealing the company was founded around developing peptide based mobile phone displays and data storage. The company reported it was ready to commercially release these products. Peptide based displays in 2016, peptide based batteries for mobile phones that fully charge in 30 seconds by 2016. It's funny, I don't remember that one ever coming to market. Mm. Germanium based mobile phone batteries by 2019, electric car and aerial drone batteries that fully charge in 5 minutes by 2020, hmm, I seem to have missed that one as well, and scooter batteries that would fully charge in under 5 minutes by 2021. And here's the punchline, none of the company's products were ever commercially released as of March 2022. Well, as I say, past performance is no guarantee of future performance, so let's see what happens but it's not a great track record so far. There's also some very interesting responses on the Tesla Rati site, which is obviously a, a, a pro Tesla uh, site. And some of the comments are hilarious. 100 miles in five minutes, any battery can do that under the correct circumstances without knowing the charge rate, the specs of the car, the size of the battery, the test conditions, etc. The claims are totally meaningless. Reply, exactly a modern fast charging EV that can charge at 250 kilowatts could already get close to this over the last couple of years. Isn't this that blank company whose tech only works when it's pressed between a vice? The same company who still hasn't given actual useful specs for their battery aside from the useless 105 number. Yeah, look, I'm not going to say that the company is a blank, but clearly they've got a lot of glossy marketing um, stuff and videos. You can take a look at their uh, website to see that. So they've got to back all this uh, marketing speak with actual results. So if the battery technology is developed that will accept these huge rates of charge, that doesn't get away from the fact that you're still going to need chargers to deliver that huge rate of charge. So say you can push 50 kilowatts into a battery in five minutes, that's essentially a 600 
kilowatt charger and the largest we have at the moment is 350 kilowatts so the the fact that the battery can accept that rate of charge is is kind of not the point because we don't have the charging infrastructure to support it anyway so there's already a lot of uh, cynicism around this uh, as you can see uh, i'll leave links down below in the description you can go and do your own research polestar volvo whoever they are have clearly you know put their money where their mouth is behind this but anyway i wanted to put this video out because i'm always keen to see new technology i'm not against new technology uh, but um, I'm very skeptical about the claims in this particular article and it will be very interesting to see uh, where this one goes. Anyway, that's just about it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. If you've got any tips, you can hit me up on Instagram or by email. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.